Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have been wanting to film this video. This is now my third time filming this video and I promise you guys I've been trying to film it every day for three days now in a row and the first time around it was a totally like was totally not uploadable. I just couldn't upload it. It was not focused. So hopefully this time around, right now, you guys can see me better. I feel like the lighting is a lot better than the first and second time that I did try to film it. And as of right now, I feel like I'm pretty focused. So hopefully when I do import it into my computer, it does look better. So cross your fingers. This time it will upload the way I want it to. Alright, so for today is video, um, like I did mention in my favorites video, if you haven't watched my favorites video for October, go ahead and um, go watch that. I mentioned this foundation, which I have been absolutely loving, guys. I've mentioned before in the past that I have a really hard time finding a foundation that matches my skin tone perfectly, but you guys, I have found that this one, um, the Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless foundation in the number sun beige 310 is my perfect match i love it i love the way it applies it's super affordable it does make your face matte not incredibly matte like the l'oreal and Fallible one which i do love but i like that one more in the summertime this one since my skin is um more on the combination side, not extremely oily because we are going into the colder months. I've really been loving this one. I absolutely love it. And the way that I'm gonna show you guys that I've been wearing this foundation is just my Holy Grail Ride or Die foundation combo. At the moment, I love it. And I really wanna show you guys the way that I do it. And maybe you guys will like it too. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I am kind of semi-naked right now, which, you know, I have my brows on. So we're going to go ahead and start with our Prep and Prime um, by MAC. I love this stuff, and I also did mention it in my October's favorites. So we're going to go ahead and do three squirts of this. So down the center on side to side, all right? This is really going to help prep and prime the skin like it says, but I also feel that it gives me a very nice base to work with. And then going in with the Max Strobe Cream, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a pea size amount, literally a pea size amount like this. And we're just gonna dab it all over the face. Typically, you would dab it on the areas where you want um, a more voluminescent, glowy look. But um, I just really been enjoying it, and I don't feel like it makes my skin super oily. It just gives me a very nice look. Okay, be careful with them brows though because we did draw them on and we don't want to erase them. My dark circles look super bad. I've just been sick and I probably sound a little sick right now. All right, once we have done that, we're gonna go in with the one and only foundation right here. And what I'm gonna to use to apply the foundation is what I have been using lately, and it's it's all right. I like to start off with this brush, and then I like to go in and dab it with the Beauty Blender to really just blend everything all out. So this one's by um, Real Techniques, and it's the buffing brush. Looks like this. I just put a little bit like that on my hand, and then we will just be applying it on our face. I really like how this foundation brush um, applies the foundation. And it's funny because when it's fresh and clean like it was today, I don't like it. it I feel like it does leave a little, little bit, I feel like it does leave my foundation a little streaky. So I like using it like on second day. I feel like on the second day when there's, it's a little bit dirty, um, it applies my foundation a lot better. I feel like this foundation is um, medium coverage and I feel like you can definitely build it up and it does not look horrible so I really like that about this foundation as well because some foundations you guys all know that when you just apply more layers of it it just looks horrible but I feel like this one does a really good job all right and there you have it I feel like if you can tell you guys I feel like it did a really great job at covering up a lot of just 
any color discoloration that I had on my face. I think they did a really, really nice job. And I don't think it looks cakey on my skin. It does fill in those pores, which I love because I do have really big pores along the nose and the cheek area. So I love foundations that I don't have to go in and apply another primer, you know? And so I feel like this does a good job. It fills in the pores and I love it. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and conceal them babies up. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer right here in the color 20 Sand Beige or Sand Sable. And I'm just going to lightly just stab it around my eyes like that. And then I'm going to go in with a Maybelline Age Rewind and the color Neutralizer. This one right here. And this one's just going to kind of help highlight. So I'm just going to go on like that. And then using my Beauty Blender, which is right... Oh, it got dirty. Okay, which is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it all out. I honestly thought that this Beauty Blender had died last month in October when I did my cute little reindeer tutorial, you know? Um, but I, I was like, hmm, I think I might be able to revive it. So I washed it and I, almost everything came out. So I'm really, really happy about that. And we're just going to go ahead and blend it. All right guys, so there you go. We have our foundation. Then we're gonna go in with the infamous Laura Mercier setting powder that everyone has been talking about, which there's a reason they've been talking about it guys, because this stuff is, I love it. It's like, wow. I didn't think it would make such a difference, but honestly guys, it sets your under eye concealer so nicely. It doesn't let it crease throughout the day, which obviously you guys, it's going to crease no matter what, depending on your age. Like for me, I'm already, you know, getting a little older. So no matter what I do, my, my concealer is going to crease. But with this um, setting powder, it does prolong the creasing. So we're just going to set it with the Beauty Blender. And also set the areas where I did apply concealer, which is the nose, the chin, the forehead. Okay, so now we're done with that. So once I have set my under eyes, I like to go in again, Real Techniques uh, blush brush, and I like to go in with this and take again the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder, but I like to set the rest of my face very, very lightly, just so that when I go in with contour and um, it doesn't stick to my face. So oh, just like that, kind of just sweeping it on the rest of the face. All right, so once we've done that, we've set our face and we are ready to move on. So for my um, bronzer brush, I'm gonna be using It Cosmetics. It looks like this, it's a little bit slanted like that. I love this one for my bronzer. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And the bronzer that I will be using today is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I have literally hit pan on it and I like it because I know that I've been using it, I love the product, and so I guess that's a good sign. Alright, so we're just going to continue. You want to make sure that you're bronzing the outer perimeter of your face, and you don't want to bronze too much up on your forehead. Since I do have a really, really small forehead, I don't want to make my forehead even smaller. And if you're someone who does have a bigger forehead, then you might want to bring the bronzer a little bit lower. But for me, I just want to go on the outer perimeter of the face just to kind of even and blend everything all out seamlessly. All right, once we have done that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my dual ended posh brand um, brush. I'm going to go in with my MAC blush in the color Copper Tone, which again, I have been loving this blush so, so much, and I definitely recommend it. It's a very warm, peachy, apricot kind of color, and it's really, really pretty, and I think it goes with everyone's skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and use the blush 
fresh side of it. And go ahead and pick up some of the product. Get off the excess and go ahead and go in. You want to make sure you're smiling. I like to start off kind of like right here and work my way up. And then I like to go ahead and smile even more. Just really make sure that I'm getting it on the apples of the cheeks and I like to sweep up. And then with this side of it, it's usually what I use for bronzer, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this side to very, very lightly contour the nose with the same bronzer, this one right here. Also, I don't know if you guys notice this, but I do have a little bit of a bump right here, and I really don't love it. So I heard that to get rid of that or to really hide it is when you are contouring to just dab a little bit of the dark shadow on top of that bump that you want to get rid of. So for me, it's kind of like right here. Just kind of dab some of the darkness on top right there, and that kind of just flattens it up. And then I do, I don't have an issue with my nose being really long or anything, but I do like it to be a little bit shorter. But I just want to go in underneath and just kind of create a shadow right there. Also, another trick, if you want your lip to be a little bit more fuller, I, I do already have a fuller bottom lip, but we're going to go ahead and outline our lips a little bit more on top, so we kind of want to even it out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the dark shadow underneath my lip right here. And that is just kind of going to create a little bit more of a fuller lip underneath. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can certainly tell that that trick that I did right here especially is very noticeable. Not in a bad way. I feel like it looks really natural. Alright, so once we have done that, then I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup. I'm not going to do anything like crazy or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my wing liner. And the wing liner that I'm going to be applying using is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I will be right back. I'm also going to go ahead and apply some lashes. And those lashes are going to be by the brand Kiss. And I don't know the exact ones because I already threw away the packaging. I'm actually reusing these for the third time because these were the same ones that I was applying the very first time I tried to film this video. But I believe they are the Ritzies or the Flirty Lashes. They look something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those and then I will be right back to finish off the rest of my face. Alright, so off camera, I did apply a little bit of my Carrie Grand um, Lip Whip just because um, it's going to expire next year, but there's a lot of product in here and I wanted to just kind of use it up because, you know, I just want to use it up before it expires. Alright, so I went ahead and did this eye. I applied some of my um, L'Oreal Telescopic um, Shocking Extensions Mascara that I love so, so, so much. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye on camera for you guys. And the reason why I am applying this is because I want my real lashes and my false lashes to kind of just blend all together. Okay, once we have done that, I'm going to go ahead and use a... Um, my IT Cosmetics brush, this one right here. I'm going to go in with my bronzer, dab a little bit on, and then just go underneath my lash line. And this is just going to kind of blend everything all together. And then I'm going to go in with this Milani lip liner. It's in the color 03 Nude. I love this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and align my lips. Like I did say that I'm going to be over lining my lips, the top lip, just a little bit. Not too much. Just a teeny tiny bit. This is the only one that I'm going to be applying all over my lips. I'm not going to be applying anything else. All right, and last but not least, we're going to go in with this brush again, and we're going to use this side of it. And we're going to go ahead and use the Mary Luminizer highlighter, which is amazing. And then to finish it all off, we're just going to go in ahead and do the Fix Plus one more time. 
and this is gonna really just make our skin look like skin. It's gonna look really, really pretty. And there you have it, we are done. Ta -da! All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know. If you guys wanna see any other type of videos, I would really, really love you guys commenting down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm very, very excited to um, continue this journey that I have been doing for quite some time now. Also, don't forget to push the like hand. That really, really helps me out a lot. As always, guys, peace and love.